morning folks today stress test only three weeks to go gotta figure out some things and today I want to simulate a day on the Camino uh, not walking wise but I want to do all my editing and stuff via mobile app as if I would have been on the Camino means recording transferring the files to the smartphone, editing, rendering, creating thumbnail, uploading to YouTube. At the end of the video, I'll show you how much time it takes. By the way, today I'm recording in 1080p, full HD, 30 frames per second. Normally I'm recording in 60 frames per second and I hope 30 won't cause too much motion blur. We'll see. Oh, you know, I'm lazy. And for me, there's no option to fill up my SD cards, take them back home and do the editing at home. I don't know. I don't have the time for that. I did it, but it took me about half a year to finish. And in addition, you know, when I got back home, I had about eight hours of material in each language. You cannot create an eight hours video for YouTube. Nobody watches that. Means you have to cut out a lot of things and yeah, you lose so much of the Camino life. And that's why as last year, you'll get a video every day. I record while walking. When I'm at the albergue, I upload the video. And this time maybe I'll film also a little in the evening. And next morning I do a little recap of the day, of the evening before. Didn't do that last time. Now the task is, you still walk the Camino. And you should not spoil your Camino experience by spending too much time on non-Camino topics. Now I did this before last year and now when I look backwards I made many mistakes and if you want to do the same or similar it's all about organization and power management. Organization means try at all costs to avoid the need to review your files before editing. First message, don't be shy. Don't throw clips out. Do not cut the clips. Don't think about something like, oh, that's not good, that's not worth it. It is. That's life. Don't cut your files. And once you have the confidence to upload everything that you record, you know, you, you go to your mobile app, import the files, maybe set a transition, done. This is efficiency. And for me, it's even more, let's say, a challenge because I do it in two languages so I have to be very strict and always have to record one file German one file English one file German one file English so that I know that every second file is in the same language now let's talk about video apps video editing apps last year I wanted to use Adobe Rush it's an awesome app, it's the little brother of Premiere Pro and I liked it. I liked the feeling, I liked the user interface, fast rendering, was awesome. But two days prior to departure, the app decided to not work anymore. Means it crashed on startup or if it started, it crashed 10 seconds later. 
so I had to download another app and I used Power Director. I bought it and yeah on the on the computer it's a decent program. On, on, on the smartphone, I don't know. Didn't like the feeling and rendering was quite slow. I don't know. This time I want to try something else. So I downloaded three apps. VN, Viva, Midi, Viva Video <laughs> and VLO, V-L-L-O, don't know how to pronounce it. And I took three clips, total about five minutes, did some editing, rendering and yeah, check the results. So now Viva Video was the free version. <laughs> was loaded with crappy ads. It was a nightmare. Now if you buy it, you don't have the apps and ad ads anymore. But when I wanted to render my video, it froze. After two minutes rendering, it froze. And yeah, I don't know whether that was an issue with my files or an issue with the unpaid version. I don't know. I don't want to know. Not interested in. You're out. The second app, VN, is a free software. No ads. The only ad is at the startup of the program you get a screen saying oh the end for the iMac is available now it's about five seconds Pfft, I don't care I can deal with it but yeah editing was nice and rendering was nice and quite fast and then I watched the results and yeah first clip was fine second clip lost its synchronicity means picture and sound didn't fit together anymore and the sound was the half a second ahead and so the, the third clip as well and that's a no-go now I'm trying flow let's call it flow and yeah I don't know my first three test clips went perfectly fine synchronicity was nice rendering was quite fast Today we give it a try with a huge clip. Of course, all I can tell you here is, is for Android users. The, the apps should be available also for iOS, but I don't know. I cannot cover everything. Now your video is rendered. You're ready to upload. What else do you need? You need a thumbnail. And yeah, either you do it by yourself or you use an app. I use Canva. Very nice, very comfortable, and you can save your templates and use it another day, just put another picture in, and it's free. As long as you use pictures 1280 times by 1280 by 720, I think. Well, it's enough for YouTube. It's awesome, not too much ads, I like. Now for uploading your videos to YouTube, you can use the normal YouTube app. But I use YouTube Studio because yeah, it's like the workbench for your video channel, your YouTube channel. Because there you can add descriptions, you can add tags and you can create uh, 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 playlists and stuff like that. It's easy. I like. Now when you want to upload your videos and you add the albergue, I highly recommend to <laughs> make a Wi-Fi speed test first and have a plan B. Because you know when I was at Leon I had upload of 150 megabit and yeah <laughs> upload was finished after I don't know, 10 minutes. And when I was at Von Fria, 
was less than one megabit. It took me, I don't know, overnight. 10 hours, 12 hours, I don't know. It's a huge difference. So have a plan B. What I do, my mobile provider, O2, belongs to Telefonica. Mm. I can book unlimited data volume for one month. It's about, I don't know, 20 or 30 euros. And mobile connection is often better than Wi-Fi at the Albergis. It's all a matter of time. And now when, when I arrived at the Albergi, did my editing, was done in about two hours. Well, I make it in, in two languages, so for you, maybe one hour. Upload to YouTube. Does it on its own. You don't have to worry about that. And then Camino begins. You can enjoy the evening, can have fun as a normal pilgrim. <laughs> and next morning, breakfast, you can enjoy all the comments. Why this being said, three weeks. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned. Buon Camino.